Rules and regulations play a significant role in ensuring the discipline, in maintaining the stability of any system we have. Such a disciplinary environment is required for our banking and financial system as well. We need to have some rules, some regulations to govern the banking sector, the financial sector, to ensure its stability. And this role is usually played by the central bank of any country. In our case, the Reserve Bank of India maintains the financial stability. It comes out with a set of rules and regulations for our banking and financial system. So in today's video, we'll be discussing the different functions performed by RBI. The first and foremost being the regulatory and the supervisory function. So RBI every now and then comes up with some rules, regulations, master directions, guidelines for our banks, for our NBFCs and for the financial system at large. Then it also has different mechanisms in place to make sure that these rules and regulations are implemented. If you're just making the rules but they are not getting implemented, then it's of no use to make such rules, right? So if you're not in the, adhering to the regulations, then RBI will also impose the monetary penalties on you, different kinds of penalties. It might restrict you from carrying out the business which you are undertaking, the banking activities which you are undertaking. So regulation and supervision is the most important role of RBI. Coming to the next function of RBI, it's the issuer of currency. We need money to buy anything that we want. So who issues this currency? RBI. In fact, seeing the demand for the cryptocurrency, uh, RBI is also thinking to come up with its own central bank digital currency because it feels that there are some security issues, major security issues with these cryptocurrencies. So why not come up with own digital currency, which will be a more reliable option. So all the work related to handling the issuing of the currency be it physical currency, be it digital currency, is the work of Reserve Bank of India. Coming to the third function now, which is formulating the monetary policy. It's very important to control the supply of money in the economy. If we don't have enough money available, then there will be liquidity issues. Okay, growth will be hampered. But if we have a lot of supply of money in the economy, it will lead to inflation. So RBI has to keep two things in mind, both the growth prospects as well as the control in, on, on the inflation levels and thereby formulate some kind of a monetary policy which will affect the supply of money in the economy. The next function of RBI is to provide the support to the government, to the other banks in the form of funding. So it's the banker to the bank, it's banker to the government. Government, both the central and the state government at times of need can get support from RBI's end. They need some money, RBI can lend them that. Then banks, like if we need money, we need some education, we need some money for our education, we need some money to buy a house, we need some money to finance a vehicle, then we take loans from the banks. So at times, banks might also be in need of money. So whom they can approach if they are not able to raise the funding from elsewhere. The last resort for the banks is to approach RBI. RBI has the liquidity adjustment facility. It has the marginal standing facility where in case of emergency and the repo rates or at a rate higher than that, banks will get the support from RBI's end. Then talking about another function of RBI, which is custodian to the foreign exchange reserves. RBI manages all the foreign exchange reserves that we have, the foreign currency assets, the gold and all such things. It also is the manager of the foreign exchange. Buying and selling of the currency, maintaining the exchange rates is another role, important function of RBI. It also oversees the working of different payment and settlement systems. We make payments through different mediums. We do NEFT, RTGS, UPI, IMPS. We make use of all these platforms. So it's the duty of RBI to oversee the working of all these payment and settlement systems. Last but not the least, one of the important roles of RBI is the developmental role. RBI takes various steps to make sure that the financial services reach maximum number of people at the lowest possible cost. 
that is what financial inclusion is all about so rbi plays a major role in developing a nation in making sure that the financial services reach to them it helps small businesses the msme sector the rural area people in the rural areas to get the financial services not only this rbi also supports the innovation in the field of financial services using the technology the fintech industry it's promoting them a lot rbi has set up regulatory sandbox the innovation hub to encourage all these kinds of innovations and the use of digital technology in the field of rendering financial services so this is how rbi provides the support to the overall economy ensure the stability of our financial system